What's going on everybody? This is Salty from Edit Cod, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my animations in Cinema 4D, or at least my first person animations, because this is just a really requested thing. I've been getting messages and people have been asking me to show you guys. So I'll show you guys um what exactly I do to animate the first person models and how to make them hold items, how to uh, keyframe animate, it's just the basic stuff. So I've pretty much figured out how to do all this stuff by trial and error, um, took kind of a while, but then now it's just became kind of an easy thing to do. So first of all, um, before I get started I'd like to say Happy Halloween, because today is in fact October 31st, Halloween. And yeah. So, so first thing you want to do is make sure you have rigged models that you can find. Just Google Carpens COD4 rigged models. I'll probably put a link in the description. Um, an item you might want it to hold. I have a throwing knife here that's just, I just found it on the internet as well. And you need Cinema 4D. This works on Mac and Windows exactly the same way. So, yeah. Open up um, the read models. Look for a model you want. Let's say I want the Op Force Sniper. So I just double click, open up Cinema 4D. And here it is. Make sure there's no texture errors, all the textures are fine. And yeah, first thing you want to do is to set up your rig. If you don't have a preset rig made by somebody else, I can you can just easily find one of those or look around. But I'll just show you how to make an easy rig. Just um, you don't need to delete anything in case you want to reuse the model, but personally I don't. So just open up the model, grab the neck, and break it all the way back. Like shown. You can delete it if you want, but I'm not going to. So yeah. Then you position it with the pan, zoom, and um, turn. I'm not sure if that's what they're called, but that's what you do. You find the position you want to be in the first person perspective. Turn it like that, and then you click camera and release on camera. You should see camera up here, and then when you click when you click this and it turns white, it means it'll automatically bring you to um where, what part you're um animating to like the field that you're animating. So right now I'm just gonna leave it unclicked and I'll just um click the actual model. Right here it should be called valve pipe pelvis and then you'll be able to um, see the field of view after you zoom out see there's the camera there's the field of view okay now what you want to do is, is click camera again I'll show you how to animate your, your hands now it's white this is exactly what you're going to be keyframing Okay, key f press the keyframe button, or actually first press um, automatic keyframing, so you see a red outline, and then at um, zero keyframes, you could set this to whatever length you want, usually I'd have it at like, um, d uh, it depends on what you're animating, but first you press a keyframe at zero, and then you should see a little white box there, that's a keyframe, and then you press this little box right here. And this will show you each of the joints that you can animate, or each of the segments. And now you want to click uh, what exactly what part you want to animate. So as you can see, this part right here is the um, this is the left arm. And as you bring it up, you kind of want to animate every part of the arm as possible, or else it'll look like a zombie or something that's not really human. So you want to sort of animate it, bring the keyframe over to 5 to make it look really smooth, animate this part, and 
animate the hand. You can't really do too much or else it will warp and it will look really messy. You can make it open up its hand. I'm just going to be animating one hand just to show you. And after that you keyframe. You click a part of the body and then you press keyframe. And then you should see see it animates from your positions it's not amazing but yeah now I'm going to show you how to import a model and make sh and make the hand hold the model so you want to press merge go to where your uh, model is I have the throwing knife model right here and it's not the correct size I want as you can see the, mo the throwing knife is really big abnormally large compared to the human and you want to click the knife so that it's um or click your model so that it's orange right here go down to size click um scale if and then scale it to, this is like a fraction scale it to whatever size you want so i kind of want it to be like um point three point three Point three for a third of the size. It's still too big. Just do it again. Point three. Point three. Point three. Maybe one more time. It doesn't have to be point three, but you, you could do other decimals. I recommend just starting off a little big. Okay. Now that seems like pretty much the right size, so I'll leave it at that. Now you want to click knife so that you have the, um, the animation rings around it and you want to position it now now this is the tricky part that is probably the most time consuming so what you want to do is you want to press y, um, the Y, X and Z um, axis, axi, whatever the word is to um, animate it or actually to um, position it to where you want it to be it has to be um, where the hands are so as you can see it's the knife is way too far and too low from the hand that's raised um, as you can see right here it's way too far 